What's going on, YouTube? Rukari back with another episode of Omori in a foggy ocean that was previously surrounded by the spirits of potentially missing people. Um, look, there. Okay, we got some folks. We got some folks. And they disappear the second I touch them. That's not comforting at all. So I'm just gonna swim across this ocean and hope that everything is okay. Were we ever really able to finish some of the quests we had? Can I get up here on land? Okay, we got a ladder. Ladder's a good sign. Don't like the music change. Well, there's a lighthouse. Maybe we can light up the fog. Oh, this is not in good shape. Shattered pottery. Dirty wardrobe, empty inside. Plant, ordinary house plant. Its leaves are hard and brittle. Old fireplace, completely black. This poor photo. It's barely holding itself together. That's a picture of our family with everyone's face but Mari scribbled out. And would you look at that? A white egret orchid. It symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Something stares at you from the other side of the screen. Great. I'm just gonna climb. Look at this, it's a lighthouse. There's no light here. A pair of binoculars. Do you want to check out the view? Sure, it's definitely not going to terrify me or anything, right? Just going to look. Something's going to jump out at me. I'm positive. Anything? I was really expecting something to happen with a thing like this. Anything? What am I looking for exactly? I'm, I'm just looking everywhere at this point. There may be something to find if I scan everywhere, but I get the feeling I'm not going to find what I'm looking for, and I don't even know what I'm looking for. Okay, well, that was interesting. I think we can leave now. There's nothing really on this particular island that can help us anyways. Back into the water we go, we'll look for another one. I can't even dash in the water. I'm just slowly swimming. This would be exhausting. Oh, there's other screens. Oh, but there's nothing here. Okay, well, I tried. Should I swim around looking for more land masses? That's just, that's a effing waterfall. Oh, but we have a bridge. That's nice. I don't think there's really anything else, so up we go. Uh, should I be following right hand rule? I'm assuming there's stuff down here. Is there anything here? Or is it not? Oh, there's more. More vast expanses of water that we're trying to navigate it. Okay, we've got a house with a little old lady. Hello. Have you seen my grandson? N no Everything here is decrepit. I found dead batteries. Will they help? No, you were there! You were there! I saw you! No, I haven't seen your grandson. I'm sorry. What the heck is going on here? It feels like because I'm getting 
some semblance of friendship and closure in reality, my dream world is falling apart. I feel like this is my subconscious's attempt to drag me back into my trauma because I am struggling with the ability to let go of the past and move on and forge new relationships instead of hanging on to the old ones. Straight up, Omori is the best depiction of maladaptive day daydreaming in a game that I have ever seen. In psychology, the theory of maladaptive day daydreaming is that everyone daydreams to some extent. You know, it's normal, you're sitting on a bus, you are you got nothing to do, and your mind wanders, and you come up with some kind of like little fantasy world. Something to just make life seem more interesting, but when it becomes maladaptive is people get to the point where they spend most, if not all, of their life kind of in that daydream state to the point where they're not actually, like, getting work done, their grades are suffering, they're not going out and having personal lives. Empty dirty wardrobe, unmade beds. And so what happens is the daydreaming kind of consumes their life because it brings them comfort, but that comfort comes at a cost because you lose touch with reality and you get to a point where you can't really like provide for yourself you're the grandma again okay i'm gonna guess this is then circular this world is circular good to know good to know it's still circular i i tend to think of it i like a representation of it as being something similar to like what you see in Coraline, where she starts spending so much time in the other world that she starts losing her, like, her parents, her house, and she almost lets herself get trapped in it, but she manages to break free at the end when she realizes her choice is between her dream world and her actual life. Oh, Mori, I'm so proud of you. You swam all the way here, even though you've always been terrified of water. But there's still one big thing you're afraid of, isn't there? something a little bit harder to overcome. You mean being alone? I'm gonna guarantee that's it. And you're gonna leave me and I'm just gonna be stuck here by myself, struggling. There's my friends. What was that? It's taunting me. I hear their voices laughing and having a good time without me. The whole point of this, isn't it? That everyone can exist without Omori. And when nobody needs you or wants you, then Bam! You got nothing. You're alone. Nobody cares. And that's probably what his biggest fear is. Omori, oh, it seems that you have forgotten something important. Are you okay with that? I'm not too sure. You've seen this curtain once before. The last time we went to the lake. This is my stop, though. I know I shouldn't have come, but it just gets a little lonely without everyone. It's not my place to say anymore, but I hope you're still there, Rukari. I really miss you. Goodbye, little brother. Did I help her move on? Oh, the eyeballs are here. And I'm alone. And I'm just jumping into this portal head first. You 
Here we go. I found a well. Eh, this is fine. Everything's fine. I don't like the sudden change in music. I thought for a second that that was going to be a sweet, wholesome moment of us finally accepting what happened to Mari and learning to let go. But nope. Nope. Oh, no. No, this game. This game does not want me to have that. I think for something to happen. I've got to take this M. Mm. I know that's one of the letters because it's welcome to black space. I'm positive of it. Five keys left. Nope, not that one. Yep. And I've got to look in the hole. There is a hole here. Look into the hole. You betcha I'm ready for psychological trauma. That's a lot of eyes. That was a lot of eyes. Okay, moving on. Just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Oh, this is not as terrible as I thought it would be. Just some jellyfish. Where am I? I have no idea what's going on. Okay, I guess we'll just look around. What's up, crocodile dude? Toll gator! This lane's got a pool only, kid! Come back when you've got friends! Am I gonna have to find new friends? Am I gonna find my old friends? Hey kid, you wanna go somewhere cool? You should go to the last resort. It's the hottest, trendiest place to be these days. I can take you there if you want, kid. It's all the rage. Come on, don't be shy. I don't bite much. No, thank you. I will try to find my own way. Roman cow. Roman, Roman, Roman. Okay, well, at least you're having a good time. You found one clam. Nice. Can't talk to the jellyfish because they're too high up. This entire place is just full of taxi drivers trying to take me to the last resort, and I don't particularly trust it. <coughs> Mr. Seagull, cool! Oh, it's an endless highway. I'm gonna guess the whole point is that no matter how much I try to run, I only have one option and I have to go to the last resort. I could spend days sprinting down here and it's just going to be the same same highway every single time. Hey kid, you want to ride back to the deep well? I'll drive you as much as you want. Hey, big deal to me. I get paid salary. Great. Come back anytime, kid. Uh, this is doomed. And I'm gonna guess all the other taxi drivers, it's either deep well or last resort. Fine. Fine. I'll go because I don't have a choice. I don't- Yep. A little bumpy, but not all that bad. Come back anytime, kid. Who did you run over? Oh, god dang it. Fine. Sorry. I, you know, I don't know why I thought I'd be able to see where the heck you drive, you drove and who you ran over. Thanks. Get some funky beats going. Yay. I need to stop doing that. Just give me to the just give me to the last resort, please. Shut up. Thank you. I don't care what you have to say. Oh, but I got Kel. Hey, Omori, there you are. Where you been, buddy? While you were gone, everyone got tricked into signing contracts. So we all have jobs now. We're growing up so fast. 
My job is to point people to the last resort. That's where I work. Can you come with me? This looks like the perfect place to hang out with exactly a group of four people. There it is! Do I have to fight these weird fish people in Speedos? But I gotta say, this job thing isn't all it's cut out to be. So why don't we get everyone to quit and he get the heck out of here? Hero's been traveling a lot for work lately, but I know for sure that Aubrey's still working on the fifth floor of the last resort. We should go find her first. Okay, sure, sounds good. I am so lost. I can't even get to the watermelon because Aubrey's not here. But I got clam. Goo man. Hey, you. Yes, you. Oh, wait, hold on. You're a goo man. Hey, you. Yes, you. Hey, well, the flower gets busted. You're like, you want some fresh milk. Fresh from Sea Cow Farms. This is the freshest fresh milk. You will surely be refreshing for like 500 clams. No thanks. Okay, but you're gonna regret this once in a lifetime after. Are you all selling stuff? Hey, you. Yes, you. Hey, I have a very, very unique soda made from the finest of Butt pizzas. I'm talking about the world-renowned butt pizza soda. Okay, all of this stuff sounds ridiculous, and I don't want to do that voice forever. So let me just grab some clams and keep on walking. Oh, hi, Mari. Hey, Mari! Look who finally decided to show up. Oh, Mori! It's so good to see you again. What is it, Omori? Aren't you happy to see your big sister? Oh, that's just Omori being Omori. You can't blame him for the way he looks. Anyway, as I was just saying, working pays the bills, but it's not very exciting. So me and Omori are gonna go get Aubrey and Hiro, and then we're gonna find Basil? Oh yeah, that's what we were going to do. <laughs> Always happy to help. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Nah, don't worry about it, Mari. The boss loves me. We'll be in and out of the last resort real quick. No problem. Okay, if you say so, Kel. <sighs> Come on, Mari. I can't wait for you to meet the boss. He's awesome. Why don't I think he's awesome? We're gonna have some sushi, though. Nom 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 nom, sushi. And we feel like new. And we got a picnic basket here that we can save at. Isn't that lovely? Ah, fucking gator guys. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Affirmative. Roger that. Haha, <laughs> man, that is one good joke. What a good freaking joke. What lies at the bottom of the ocean and twitches? A nervous wreck. But I'm I didn't even have to do the bottom myself. Excellent. You recorded the joke in your joke book. Brain juice. It's not for kids. I got ramen out of the toilet, though. Goody. And another clam. It's not nearly as fun as smashing things in Sweetheart's Castle for money. I saw... Yeah, you're one of the kids from the playground. Hey, <laughs> No splashing in the pool, okay? I'm gonna do it anyways. It looks like a face. You're pretty sure this pool is haunted. You wanna go in? Yep. Haunted pool sounds like exactly my kind of thing. Hello? Oh my. It's a ghost party! When you said haunted, this is not what I was expecting. Nice to meet you all. Hello there. You have a quest for me. My goodness, what impeccable timing. I seem to have found myself in quite the predicament. I've sent letters to a number of acquaintances asking them to attend this elegant feast of mine. But as of this moment, not a single invitee has made an appearance. Not one. This is preposterous. A lesser ghost will be enraged, but my finer senses tell me that they may have simply become lost on the way here. 
You see, when I sent out my invitations, I had forgotten to include directions to the venue. Being a true gentleman and host, I refuse to start this party until all of my guests have arrived. Would you be so kind as to help my guests find their way here? Thank you, good sir. Here are some maps with directions to my party, stamped with my own personal top hat seal of approval. You got six spooky maps. Please deliver these maps to each of my guests. They will find their way here on their own, surely. Well, I know I need the letter O, so... Oh boy. And another hole to look into. There's a hole here. Go in the hole. Yeah, sure. I keep doing this at this point. Honestly, is the hangman thing even necessary? Am I uncovering a good truth? Or am I just setting myself up on the path for destruction? Videotape labeled Omori. Mm. Videotape labeled Basil. Yes. I'm gonna take Basil's route. I don't know what's gonna happen, but... He looks terrified. I'm sorry, Basil. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, some nutrients candy. Would you like to eat some? Sure, I'm gonna guess it's teleporting me. Oh, nope, it just heals me. Shaved ice. Does all of it heal me? Because I remember some of the food teleports you. Great. What if I eat the cake? Alrighty. Party Jish, I am Jish with many talents and master of many trades. How can I help you today? Okay, well, at least I can buy some stuff if I need it. Oh, I can get. Okay, though, most of these are status effect things. Um, maybe I'll pick up a rain cloud. We've got one of every, like, all status item. Okay. I'm sorry, what is going on with that pinata? Pinata boy, we? I regret every life decision leading up to this. I'm just gonna go. I'm concerned. I don't need you, Haunted Pool. Just gonna pick up some clams and be on my way. Then I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Ooh! Alrighty. Oh, hey, we got Mailbox Friend! Who's gonna also sell me some stuff. Yes, yes, hello, hello, value customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. <laughs> Rotten milk, don't drink it. Heals 10 juice plus question mark. Okay, let's not do that. Um, do get a couple more fries. Extra life jam, just in case. Let's get a couple of melon juice. Get a few peach sodas. And get some heart tacos or some fish tacos alrighty that should be good for now thank you dude turn off the music you know look at this classy place the last resort definitely not an, uh, an allusion to anything definitely not giving Lotus Hotel vibes or anything of that nature just a classy little number hi weird nose kid Nose. Nose goes. A money machine. A telephone calls up the wazoo. Oh, okay. I was not expecting. Gator guy, abandoning your post again. You're in real trouble now. <laughs> okay. Um. 
I'm just gonna make myself sad really quick. Hero. No, sorry, Kel, you are going to. Your moves are different. Did I? I don't remember giving you curveball. You flex. Okay, he doesn't karate chop me. Kel is playing slots. Kel lost 136. Li okay, you're not allowed to play the slot machines anymore. You little shit. Don't you dare waste any more of my money. Alright, I think we can just beat him up and we'll be fine. He doesn't have that much health. Just keep stabbing. Yeah. That was fine. Oh good, we got our money back. You gambling little shit. Sean and Ren, we hope you're enjoying yourself so the last resort please said if you need anything. Amelia, God, how did I get myself into this dump? It's just one thing after another this week. You got a crap claw for a head. Bro told me to visit to Bro told me to wait here, but I don't know if he's coming back anytime soon. You know anyone named Mr. Jawson? Bro says he's got some business with him. Okay. I no, I don't need the end. Do I risk picking up the end? Haha, <laughs> you can't actually get me. Oh. Uh, sure, buy a tasty soda. Can I nip into here? Because he's following me. Oh, I do actually need the pee. For space. Great. Cool. Oh, we got... Three keys left. And another mysterious hole here. That we're definitely gonna go into. That's definitely not gonna torment us. Ooh, the water is getting just a little bit more realistic. Oh, hi! Did um, did Mari drown? Cool. There's something written up there on the wall. Hey, they're good looking. Oh, you're just talking to your reflection. Okay, great. Can I go into the ladies' room? No, I'm just a boy. There's a mermaid. Sorry, I can't serve fruit juice to minors. Dang. No! Get away from me! I'll go into this elevator! With Mari! Why are you everywhere? Isn't this a cool- Isn't this a cool elevator? Smells kinda like perfume and smoke. Oh, hi Mari! Hello, you two. Let's see now. So if I got this straight, Aubrey's on the fifth floor. Uh, why isn't this working? Oh yeah, I totally forgot! We need a cool key card for this. They took mine away because I kept losing it. I swear they're disappearing on their own though. Let's try looking around the other floors for one. There's gotta be a cool key card around here somewhere. Okay, well we're gonna heal. With some sushi. <laughs> And we're gonna save. The saving seems like a smart idea. Hi, Mari. Hi, little brother. Are you feeling a bit better now? Why don't you enjoy a nice picnic with me? That always seems to cheer you up. I don't trust you. I don't trust anything about you. 
But I think this is probably a safe place to call it quits here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like we're finally starting to get into the end game of this with this mysterious resort. I don't know if we're going to finish any quests. I don't know if we're going to find peace. I don't know if we're going to complete the hangman. I'm just going to keep struggling and we'll do our best, okay? If you liked this video, liked it, lets me know that, you know, I'm doing something that people like. Really, that's the only meaning of a like I know there's it. Subscribe if you want to stick around. Much more content is coming. We, and we're just going to keep posting as many videos as we possibly can. Okay, that's all I really have got to say now. So you all have a good day. Goodbye!